Hey everybody and welcome. Today's dining destination brings us here to Gatlinburg, Tennessee where we're getting ready to dine at... Stall Creek. So they gave some food, look at that, in a moonshine jar, how cool is that? A moonshine jar, they gave us some fish some food more, to feed the fish. Can I get some more? Yeah, you sure can, buddy. Alright, there's a little bit more. We won't use it all. Alright. You see any fish down there? So this is pretty cool. They were just saying that a bear got a hold of these pumpkins here and took off with them. Apparently, it is the treat of choice here in the fall for bears to have these pumpkins. Here is the list of appetizers. You got fried mushroom, shrimp cocktail, catfish bites, and garlic rolls. Here's a long list of entrees they have available. We'd feel right at home with that Nashville prime rib right there. Southwestern chicken, Appalachian smoked chicken, black and catfish. And Gentry's gonna read off the kids' menu here. Chicken fingers, buttered noodles, spaghetti, marinara, macaroni and cheese. There's always something cool about getting your drink in a mason jar and check this out. There's a nice little creek in the background here. Oh, these chairs. They are pretty cool, the rolling chairs. Jennifer and I both got a side salad with ranch that came with our meal. Looks like it has croutons, cheese, cucumbers, tomatoes, and a whole lot of lettuce. So the way that we found out about this place is we're always researching just unique and interesting restaurants. and. We've watched a few YouTube channels on this restaurant, but we came across the Smoky Mountain Family's video in particular on this restaurant that really sold us on wanting to go here. If you're not somehow already familiar with the Smoky Mountain Family's YouTube channel, we're gonna place a link in the description below to their channel. They have a really fun channel. It's a great family, a really fun family. They have some excellent videos. Uh, Eric, he really has some dynamic filming skills and editing skills and I think you're really going to enjoy their channel if you're not somehow already familiar with it so check out the Smoky Mountain family. All right so the fried mushrooms for our appetizer have just arrived. Look at how large those mushrooms are. They're huge. So these mushrooms are really large and they the batter on them has like a really good kick to them. And they're lightly battered. They're not like too over fried as you can see. It comes with marinara and ranch. They're really, really good. So going back to what Jennifer was saying, there's marinara and ranch that came with these fried mushrooms. And when you eat it with a ranch, it kind of takes you in one direction. And when you eat it with marinara, it takes you in another. Uh, but both are equally just as great. So I really like these cups. Mason jars, they're awesome, aren't they? There's the bear. It's okay. I'm going to leave it there. Henry wants to go first here. What'd you get there, Henry? Uh, baby tails and some garlic sauce and some pea soup and... Yeah. Butter. Yeah, butter. 
And some ranch. All right. And Gentry, what'd you end up getting? So I got baked potatoes and some Parmesan um, noodles. All right. And Gentry. I got the fried chicken Parmesan and it's served over spaghetti noodles and served with the garlic knot. And I got the meatball marinara bake. And just on a side note, this is baked in a lodge cast iron skillet, which are made right here in the state of Tennessee. Jennifer's getting ready to dive into her chicken parmesan. So I just cut into it, and can you see, it goes across, the chicken goes across the, almost the whole entire skillet. <laughs> but it looks really good, did you see? That's really delicious, it's, um, a very tender piece of chicken and very flavorful. You can tell that uh, it was cooked in the sauce really well and it's not over fried and not too much batter on the chicken. And the marinara is really, really tasty also. Well, if there's one thing that we have found out about this place already is the portion sizes are enormous. These meatballs are huge. A lot of times when you get spaghetti meatballs, you'll get like one or two large meatballs. Uh, but this came with five extra large meatballs. There's no way on earth, there's no way on earth I'm gonna be able to eat all of this. Um, but here we go. That's a real hearty sauce. It's well seasoned. And most importantly, the meatballs are very tender and delicious. What I'm also really excited about is this garlic roll here. It looks really good. Take a look at that. It's already been sopped up in some of the marinara sauce. Here we go. <laughs> they sell these separately, and I can see why these would be a great success because I don't know if one of those is going to be enough. Henry, what do you think about your baked potato there? Pretty good. Yeah. All right. Ginger's gone in for the baked potato. And that is a loaded mass of baked potato as well. It's really great. You should definitely get baked potatoes. Well, everybody, that was Christelle Creek here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Gentry, what'd you think about Christelle Creek? So I really like to see the bear, I spotted it and that was really cool. You did, you said, hey, there's a bear and like half the restaurant came <laughs> running to the window. And the interesting part is the bear that we got on film was the small bear. There was actually two different bears. There's a yeah, very, very sure. large bear and then yeah. a smaller bear that's somewhere over there just on the other side of that little rock wall there. It went like, the big one went near the dumpster or something, and then the little one just went near the pond. It sure did. That was pretty cool. But the food is excellent. Would you Great. recommend this place? 100%. All right. And Henry, what do you think about the food here, buddy? Well, I like the big potatoes and sour cream. Yeah? And I like a cheese and bread. Good. But did they didn't get cheese by myself, but they didn't. All right. And I make uh. You like the noodles and sauce? Oh uh, yeah. Tell All right. Sounds and great. I did a hammer. It's all over your hat and all over your shirt, so it must have been delicious. And <laughs> all right, and Jennifer, what do you think about Christelle Creek? I thought it was really delicious. I definitely recommend. Uh, one plate was enough to feed two or three people <laughs> obviously we have lots of leftovers um you also get a salad with it so i thought that was really cool too and it's a good salad it has like the spring mix in it cherry tomatoes cucumber cheese croutons everything um i really liked the atmosphere we got to sit next to the river and then uh in over 41 years been coming here to the mountains never seen a bear before in the wild so that was pretty cool too so there's a first for everything and i will say just by looking at this place on the outside i would imagine that this is a very expensive restaurant but we got out of here we all had italian for right around 80 dollars before tip 
and we're gonna have leftovers as well. We have a big bag of leftovers that we're getting ready to take back with us. So considering that we're all getting two meals a piece out of this for 80 bucks, I think it's a pretty fair price. The service was outstanding, the atmosphere and the environment, seeing a bear, that was pretty cool. Seeing two bears, in fact. So that was really awesome as well. I will say that this is not far from downtown Gatlinburg, just east of the parkway, just a few miles out. It's very close to everything. And it's a nice relaxing drive out here east of the parkway as well. You're not having to go 10 miles an hour and stop at every crosswalk. It's a very nice scenic drive, just a few miles out of downtown Gatlinburg. If you're in Gatlinburg, we recommend you trying out this place because it is fantastic. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna wrap this up because there's two bears that are on the loose somewhere right here on this property. So we're gonna get back to the truck. But guys, we thank you so much for joining us today. And we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday.